Hi guys, welcome to another video of with Chris Tronic with LED. I mean, Chris Tronic with another video of electronics. Today, we're gonna make a traffic light. It's gonna be exciting. Next episode, I'm going to make six or uh, two traffic lights. Let's see how we're gonna do this. First, we're gonna make the hardware. I can make a real life version, so, so stay tuned. Or just skip ahead if you just wanna see it all. I'm gonna make it five volts. Let's go. I'm gonna make it ground. All right. And now I'm gonna have one button. So. So there's two buttons to choose from. The slide switch or the push button. I'm going to choose the slide switch because it, it it's like on or off. It's either two. You can pick and like it's gonna stay there. All right. So it's gonna stay off or it's gonna stay on if you switch. But a push button you can only push it once and it's gonna do the code. Now in this case you can't do it because it's not gonna do once. So you have to use for this one a slide switch. So I'm going to put a slide switch right here. And then I'm going to put some LEDs. Here, here, and here. And make sure, as you know, traffic light. They have different colors. So let's make this. Oh yeah, it's gonna be red. This is gonna be yellow, and this is going to be green. There we go. Now we just need to connect these. So when you're connecting LEDs, as you know, the, the longer leg is anode, and the shorter leg is cathode. Anode is plus, cathode is minus. So what you want to do is you want to put the plus uh, to your digital pins. So let's make this yellow. I mean, make this yeah yellow. I'm gonna make it into eight. And now it has to go back to the minus. We're gonna make a resistor. So resist some flow of electricity. All right. Let's make this. What you want to do is make it 220. That's the average of a resistor. All right. Okay. And we're going to connect this up. As you know, we connect the minus, now we connect the plus. So I'm going to make this yellow light 7. It's the pin 7, and this green one to 6. There we go. Now we have to connect this light switch. As you see, it has three, um, like three, connect three legs here. Terminal 1, common, and terminal 2. Terminal 1 is where you put plus, common, and terminal 2. So I'm going to connect common with terminal 2. So first, you need to put plus, which is terminal 1. I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to connect this with here. So it is connected. All right. And now we're going to put into the digital pin. Make this yellow. I'm gonna put a resistor. Let's make this 1k volt. Alright guys, so this is gonna be our main hardware. Now let's get into our software, which is coding. Uh, yes. As you see here, it's already set up some code for me. We're gonna make it more complicated, so 
going to delete some of this code because we don't need some. Now, before setting up, as you know, it's going to be a switch. So we're going to have to make a variable, and it's going to be integer switch. Oopsies, forgot how to spell. Switch step. My finger is going buttery. <laughs> And we're gonna make this into zero because it has no value yet. Now we're gonna set up the pins, which is pin mode. Pin mode. The first one we're gonna make. Uh, let's make the red one, which is eight. And when you when you write in the text. As like when you're putting two words together, the second word, the first letter, is always going to be capital. As you see here, in pin mode, the first letter here in mode is capital. So you don't get mixed up, and it's just two words. And the same thing with switch state here. And then when you're putting the pin mode, 8, but now you have to see if it's output or input. When you're pressing the button, it's going to be input, and then the LED is going to be output as they're going to be the light. Output. And there you go. I'm going to put... Actually, that is not the button. Well, it is. Wait a minute. Sorry, getting confused here. Output. 8. Yes. And then we always put a semicolon. Now, we just need to make this... And copy it because I have four components and they need four um, digital pins. Okay, so next one is going to be number seven, pin seven, which is an output. Pin six is an output. And then pin five. Is going to be an input, so you have to change this into input. There you go. Now, if we completed the setup, now we can get to it into the loop. Now, when we're setting up the loop, we need to know where is the the button. The microprocessor that doesn't know that where the switch state variable is connected. Which where which button? which pin is connected to. So that's why we need to set up. So what we're going to do is going to switch state equals to, it's going to the microprocessor is going to read it. So we're going to put digital read. Now, as so we put digital read, we're just going to put number, what is it, number 5. And we just need to put a make on. Now, if you put if, now we're going to put, say, if it's on or off, high or low. So, the switch date is high or low, we just connected, the switch date is going to be connected to the button, that's the switch date, digital read 5. Now we need to know if it's on or off. Now let's see if it's off. So switch state. And we're going to put two equal signs, as you see. And that's going to be like directly in equal to low. And we're going to put brackets. So whatever in these brackets is going to be in this command. Alright, now if it's off, we need to make the yellow light blinking. The yellow light is going to be 7. In order to write commands onto the LEDs or other components, you have to write fish to write. It's like writing on a piece of pencil when you have a, like a person say walk, and then it's going to walk for you. It's like a robot, but you just write on the paper, as you know what I mean. So it's going to be digital, 
right digital right which we're gonna write we're gonna write it so it's gonna be number seven and we're gonna make it high and there we go now we have to wait and then pi turn it off wait and turn back on so I'm gonna put it back on and back on. I'm gonna wait let's make it wait maybe around maybe just 300 yeah that's that's a good number oops nearly forgot my semicolons don't know why but I actually like saying semicolon for no reason semicolon 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 that is weird I am weird all right now I'm gonna put seven hello okay so it's gonna turn on off on off and that's gonna happen if it's off now let's see what happens if it's on in that statement we're gonna put else or else if it's on we're going to make green yellow red and then back to green there it is so let's put digital right we can put um let's see so I'm gonna put green first which is number six I'm gonna make it high high five guys high five if you keep watching this just try to keep concentrated and just keep watching. Maybe you think I'm boring, just keep watching and just try to relax and concentrate on what I'm doing. Alright? Alright. Oops. Semicolon. All right, copy this. Now wait, we can't copy it because now with um, six, now we're gonna put yellow. So we're gonna put yellow on. But as I'm doing that, six and seven gonna be on. So green and yellow, but I don't want that. So I have to put six off, which is going to be green off. So I'm gonna put this. Control V. I'm gonna make it off. All right. Read this off. We can just copy this. Now we're gonna put red on, which is number eight and seven off. And then it's just going to go. Wait, wait, a, wait tenth of a second and go back to the code. And it's that simple. Like, you now you understand the whole thing. And I'm gonna do, we're gonna do more projects. It's gonna get simpler and simpler, but only if you understand. All right. Now, that's why I have a Discord. And if anybody, anybody has any questions, like any questions, it doesn't matter. Even the simplest, most, like the, like like any question about Arduino, just tell me, okay? It's in the link description below this course. All right, now this should work. So when it's off, it's gonna be the yellow light blinking. And then when it's uh, on the switch, it's going to go green, yellow, red, and back again. All right, as you see, it's on. Oh, we did a mistake. Let's fix it. Now, fixing mistake isn't too hard. As we see, the red light was keep going on. You know why? Because we didn't turn it back off. All right, not too hard to do this. We're just gonna copy this, as this is the same code. I was gonna do this. 
So, let's make it up. All right. Now, start simulation. Green, yellow, red. Green, yellow, red. Wow. Guys, if you've made it this far, I'm really impressed. All right, let's turn it back off. And there we go. It's blinking. Just a masterpiece. All right, guys. So, uh, next I'm going to make into a real-life Arduino, like IRL. Not ep not next episode right now. See, I'm going to go... Hi guys, it's Chris running here. So this is gonna be the real life traffic Arduino on circuit on the Arduino. So how to do this? You plug your yellow cable, then you look at your code here. You look at it, and then you should see the here the upload. When you got the, all your code on the Arduino IDE, you press your upload here. And it should be uploading. And then. And there we go. It finished uploading. And now you can see. As I told you in the Tinkercad, yellow light when it's off, the yellow light starts blinking when you click the button. Now you see here, it's not a switch, it's a push button. So it's just going to do once. A switch is just going to do forever, but it's just going to do once. As you see, and that's it, and it goes back to normal. If it was a switch, it would always do that. All right. Well, guys, that's it. Subscribe, like, hit the notifications bell. See ya.